Hello Taurus, welcome to this reading. This is a you and them love reading where I'm gonna look at your person's energies, your energies, what's going on in your connection and the potential outcome for the near future. So let's get right into it. Spirits angels, messages for Taurus please. Messages for Taurus regarding love. What do we need to know about Taurus and the connections that they're in? All right, let's start with you, Taurus, spirits, angels. Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. What are their energies in this connection at this time? The connection that they are in or thinking about at this time? Soulmate. Okay, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, tell me about the person that Taurus is in a connection with at this time or thinking about at this time. What are their energies? Yeah, I want this one. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This person could be thinking that they need to ask for forgiveness. I feel like they want to heal the past as well. All right, so what's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection, sir? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Bottom of the deck, you deserve love. You are lovable. Stay optimistic. I feel like this person is your soulmate or you feel like this is your soulmate, Taurus. Um, but I feel like there's something that from the past that needs to be healed or released. Your person might need to release something uh, and heal the past on their end in order for you to have some sort of success or for this connection to progress let's see what else we can get here all right so the cards want to talk all right let's start with you taurus tell me about taurus oh my gosh <laughs> okay <laughs> tell me about taurus please one card please for taurus can you tell me about Taurus spirit and the way that they're thinking or feeling about this connection? Now, this will not resonate with all of you. Just keep in mind, um, do not try to make this reading fit if it's not for you. Check out your other placements if this reading doesn't resonate at all. You'll know if it's your reading soon enough. Past life, past life connection, X memories. You have had a connection with this person in the past. So you've had some sort of connection with this soulmate in the past here. They could even be someone like a past life type of connection. Literally, it's past life. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Okay, patiently waiting. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Can you tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with? Oh my gosh. What in the world? These cards, they're not playing around here. Tell me about the person that I just said a reading for Aquarius. I did not have this problem. <laughs> okay, I got two. Could not just get one. Coming together, budding romance. What? Destiny has brought you together. Reunion, fate, romantic feelings, and budding romance. New love, romance, courtship, romance is in the air. So I feel like your person wants to come together with you. They There's love here. Destiny has brought you together. Hmm. So Taurus, I have you on this side. I have your person over here. Feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. But to avoid confusion, this is your person for me. So they want to come together with you. They're thinking about love with you. Okay, so what's going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies here? between Taurus and this person. Free spirit, independent, spiritual, open mind. A free spirit is open to life's challenges with an open heart and an open mind. Bottom of the deck, unhealthy attachment. Someone might need to break free of an unhealthy attachment, some sort of codependency, um, some sort of situation that's falling apart, it looks like. I have unhealthy attachment and falling apart here behind that burdened heart interesting 
feel like someone needs to break free of that. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Now this is a reading for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. So if you're sitting there thinking, I don't even know anybody or I don't talk to anybody, this is not your reading. Um, all right, so let's get into this. For Taurus Spirit, regarding this person they're in connection with or thinking about, what messages do you have for Taurus, please? For Taurus, let's start with you, Taurus. Tell me about the energies that Taurus is bringing to this connection at this time. What are they thinking or feeling? about this other person oh i got two again knight of cups reverse and the high priestess you're keeping some sort of secret or you haven't said something that you need to say could also be that there's something you don't know that you're trying to get to the bottom of we'll see when i clarify nine of swords reverse overcoming Fear, no longer letting fear hold you back or this could be that you're letting fear get in the way here but I, I have the knight of cups at the bottom so it could be that you're breaking free of feeling guilty remorseful or scared and it's like you are ready to have your wish granted here Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with, Spirit. What are their energies at this time? Four of Swords, Justice, Reverse, Libra Energy. Four of Swords is someone that's just thinking, no action, reflecting, healing, Justice reverse. Something's unfair or just not in not balanced, or it could be that someone's judgment is blocked here. Tell me more for this person. Okay, I got two. Page of Cups reversed, heartbreak, disappointment, and the seven of cups. Uh, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I'm going to say what I'm feeling here, uh, Taurus. Your person, I feel whatever choice they made was not the right one or it, it was a choice that brought heartbreak or disappointment to them or to you. What's at the bottom of the deck? Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles reversed. I feel like this has something to do with you. I feel like you're this queen of pentacles. And it's almost like your person has been acting unfairly to you with justice reversed. We'll clarify later on and see. What are the mutual energies here? That one wanted to come out. Six of swords reverse, okay. What are the mutual energies here between Taurus and this person? Someone delayed from leaving a situation, unable to leave a situation. Page of Swords. There could be communication back and forth or uh, maybe social media interactions here. Something to do with like research, talking, watching, observing. Okay, so let's let's clarify some of these here. Let me clarify these energies, please. All right, Taurus, let's start with you. What is this high priestess about? Why is the high priestess here? The magician. Have you been manifesting in secret? What's this hangman? I feel like you've been um, really thinking about something in a different uh, light. Yeah, this is about something that hasn't been able to manifest with the Empress Reverse or grow. Tell me more about this magician. What's this? Three of Pentacles. 
manifesting, building something together, working, collaborating with this person. There could be a third party here. Can I get one more for the high priestess, please? Can I get one more for the high priestess, please? King of Swords. Page of Wands. This is communication, Seven of Pentacles. You wanna know something, you're trying to get to the bottom of something, like will this work? Is this person willing to put in as much effort as me? Is this a good investment? Is this gonna take off? Is this worth it? That's what I just heard. And I feel like you're thinking about things very logically, um, seeing things very clearly. And it's like you're ready to talk. I feel like for some reason there was maybe fear about this conversation or fear that was blocking you here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords reverse. I don't think it's affecting you as it once did. Tell me about the Nine of Swords reverse, please. The Sun. Eight of Swords. Yeah, this was um this was fear. You probably felt trapped in a situation or like you couldn't find a way out. Seven of Wands. But I feel like you're going to be um, standing up for yourself here. Fighting for what you want. Fighting for what makes you happy. I'm also picking up that some of you were scared to uh, reveal something. Reveal your secret or... Um, have your secret out in the light, something like that. And, and it's probably why you wanted to keep it hidden. But I feel like there's been some sort of shift here with the Nine of Swords reverse. You're not scared as you once were. Okay, so let's see. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Why is this Four of Swords here for Taurus? Four of Swords here. Five of Pentacles. So it could be that this person's out in the cold. Maybe there's not a lot of communication going on with this person. The star Aquarius energy. But their hope is to, I feel, fix this, heal this. They could be thinking about how to heal something. I have the two of cups at the bottom, a connection here. Tell me about the four of swords, please. Knight of Pentacles reversed, Two of Swords, a difficult decision being undecided. I feel like someone not making a decision is causing delays here with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Perhaps they're um, delayed due to finances or something like that. Four of Swords is a card about healing. I have heal up here with forgiving and learning, coming together. So it's almost like your person, their wish is to heal this connection that has, there's been a disconnect. Someone's out in the cold, someone feels abandoned, left behind. I feel like your person, this is their motivation, but they need to make a decision here. Tell me about Justice Reverse. It's just as reverse. This is Libra energy. Two of Cups. It's just as reverse. Ten of Cups reversed. Five of Wands reversed. Behind that, Five of Cups. So I feel like. Okay, some of you are dealing with someone that um, needs to have a divorce. That's a small number of you. I have justice reversed with the Ten of Cups reversed. It's not going to go well for your person, that divorce. You could have had a divorce with this person.
For others of you, this person um, has had some sort of family issues um, or emotional difficulty. And I feel like that has caused something to be unbalanced between you and this person. And I feel like the connection is strong with the Two of Cups. There's emotion there. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. There's an oh, there's emotion. There's, you know, soulmate energy here with the Two of Cups. This is your soulmate or you feel like this is your soulmate. This person sees you as their soulmate. But I feel like there's something that's gotten in the way here. I think your person's actions because of what I saw down here with the Seven of Cups might have caused a disconnect here. And I feel like your person's just thinking about how to make this work, how to fix this. What's this down here with the Seven of Cups? King of Pentacles. What's this down here with the Seven of Cups? Seven of Swords reverse, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands reverse. Okay, so um, there could have been a third party here maybe your person stepped out of the marriage or the commitment um, or maybe they just made the wrong choice in the past in a partner yeah whatever choice this was it caused conflict or there was some sort of loss or failure for your person with the five of swords nine of wands reverse eight of cups interesting eight of cups a departure Nine of Wands reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. This is someone that's ready to give up, that has tried not to give up desperately, trust issues. It could be that their wall is coming down. There's the resistance, the guarded energy is, is no longer as much of a divide. Three of Swords reverse. Some of you are definitely dealing with a situation where there's another person involved. Maybe your person's even married with the King of Pentacles. I just keep getting this, this, I keep seeing your person screwing up here, whether in the past or currently, with a decision that they made. Let me see if I can get one more. I can get one more for this Seven of Cups. Two of Wands, Three of Cups, Chariot, Cancer Energy. Again with a choice, a path needs to be chosen clearly. Your person's thinking about a move. Moving forward, moving on, moving away. But I feel like that, you know, that choice I feel is going to cause some sort of, yeah, five of wands reverse, some sort of conflict possibly your person is trying to avoid here. Because I have here the six of swords reverse. Why is the six of swords reverse? It's typically, it's like there's a delay or a block to leaving a situation. Six of Wands, Six of Swords Reverse. Queen of Pentacles. I don't think that this um, block is Five of Wands Reverse again. I don't think this block is going to be um, permanent. I think it might just be a temporary block. What can you tell me about this Page of Swords? What's the Page of Swords here? Nine of Cups. Why is the Page of Swords here? Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Again with the Two of Swords at the bottom. So I feel like someone here is wanting to talk about what they want. About getting their wish fulfillment, um, making some sort of offer, having an opportunity with you here. An opportunity with you, it, it would be a wish granted, a wish fulfilled. This could be how you feel 
about an opportunity or how they feel you both because you're both here so it could be mutual that you both feel the same way you want an opportunity with each other because this nine of cups was over here for you as well and then i have the two of swords again at the bottom so a difficult decision must be made i think someone needs to be free so let's look at the potential outcome in the near future I'm use this back here. So for these rounds of videos, I'm going to be choosing three cards for the potential outcome here. And then in the extended, I'll be clarifying the potential outcome a little bit further. I'll also be using my Secret Moon Oracle deck to get how they secretly feel about you. Um, what they're secretly thinking or feeling or look at their true intentions. And finally, what advice spirit has. Potential outcome, please, for Taurus. So if this is resonating for you, check out the extended. It's linked down below, below this video in the box, description box below if I could talk. Oops, I dropped a card. Okay. for Taurus, please. Potential outcome with this person. Potential outcome between Taurus and this person in the near future, please. Okay. Seven of Swords. I'm not going to take all these. I'm just going to take the one that was at the top. What else? What is the potential outcome here for Taurus and this person? Something's coming to the light here. Queen of Swords. A serious conversation here. What else? I feel like this is very similar energy to you here with the King of Swords. Potential outcome between Taurus and this person. Knight of Swords reversed. Interesting. The bottom of the deck. Four of Wands reversed. I feel like this Knight of Swords reversed is blocked or delayed because of family situation or something happening in the home that's not very stable. There's lack of harmony, lack of peace there. And so it's keeping someone from moving forward here, moving quickly. It's slowing them down is what I'm seeing with the Knight of Swords reverse, which is weird because that's not really what that card means. <laughs> but that's what I'm picking up. Cards usually about someone that's not on your side, um, someone that's not a great communicator. Um, and, you know, that would make sense with the Seven of Swords reverse. But for some reason, I'm not picking that up. The Seven of Swords reverse is someone that's caught lying or caught running away caught avoiding a situation uh someone that's being cl seen clearly for the first time they're caught red-handed right but I, when i put this card down it's like something's coming out it does not have to be someone getting caught doing something wrong but more like something's coming out to this like to the uh what was hidden is coming it is, is being revealed what can i talk i can't talk today queen of swords this is definitely someone that's talking clearly openly you know it's like someone's cutting right through this bs here you know um the queen of swords very good with boundaries um she uses she's not afraid to use that sword she's very direct um and she's willing to cut out whatever gets in her way very hard to read as well um, but she is not shy about expressing herself, about communicating the truth. So I feel like in the near future, there's something coming to the light here, something that will be communicated clearly and honestly between you and this person, some sort of communication. And in the extended, I'll, I'll look at exactly what's, what that's all about. But that's what I see so far in the near future. And I also see delays. Some, someone's being slowed down here, delayed. All right, uh, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. If this resonated for you in any way and you'd like to let me know um, how it resonated for you, please leave me a comment down below. 
If you'd like support, to support the channel for free, then please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, it's a free way that you can support the channel and help us grow. Thank you so much to everyone who has already done that, and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.